Hey, my name is Nick McDonald from Simple Trader. Quick video to show you how to access your VPS and also how to install the MetaTrader terminal and connect to our trade copier. Okay, so you'll need to open your remote desktop connection. This is assuming you're using um, Windows 7, of course. Stick in your IP. Now your username is always administrator. If it doesn't say administrator there, you can use another account. And then the password. This will log you into your remote desktop connection. Now, a VPS, in case you don't know, it's really just a computer that is on the internet so you can connect to this computer from anywhere in the world uh, using that method that I've just shown you there okay so once you log in you're gonna see a blank desktop um, I've got a couple of MetaTraders running so just ignore them because uh, it's one of my VPS's but for all essential purposes when you log in you will see um, just be blue screen now what you need to do is you need to download your um, your copy of MetaTrader from your broker so I'll show you how to do that. So annoying. There we are. Apologies. So I like to use the generic MetaTrader, which is metatrader4.com. If you want to use that, though, you need to know what the IP of your server is. So if you're with one of the major brokers, just go to their website and um, access it from there download the meta trader so you want to run that run it so i agree give it a name this one's test account not test the account That'll install nice and quickly. All right, you're up and running. So we'll minimize this web page. And any moment, we'll probably see it open up. There we go. Okay, so MetaTrader 4 is now installed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install the trade copy onto your MetaTrader 4 terminal. So what you need to do is you actually need to shut it down first. My desktop screen is not quite big enough for this. Okay, so you'll see there's a simple trader zip file on your desktop. And it's got a whole bunch of folders and files in it. Now what you need to do is you need to find your MetaTrader terminal. So go into my computer. program files test account now you see you got your experts folder here double click that now you want to start to drag and drop so you put your .ex4 into your experts then go into libraries drop that in And the same with include. So there's a little bit of a delay when I do it because I'm based in Australia and our servers are based in the UK. So each time I do a mouse click, it's transmitting that mouse click to the other side of the world. So there's a little bit of a delay if you're in this part of the world and you're doing it, but it doesn't mean that you're going to get delayed execution. It is literally just the communication from my computer to the UK. So it's nothing to worry about. Okay, so once you've installed all those files, don't forget you need to have restarted MetaTrader, so I already closed mine down. Double click on the terminal, which opens it up. All right, I'm going to show you how I log into mine. Um, what I do is I get my IP address. I use IC Markets for a few of my accounts, so let me just dig up that IP. 
If you don't know your IP, then you can generally ask your broker and they'll give it to you. Alternatively, obviously you can just download the MetaTrader from their website rather than going to the MetaTrader website, which I just did. And the information will be there. That's my field. Stick it in there. I'll stick in one of my accounts. Bear with me for one moment, please. Should have had this organized before. So this is the IC Markets Live account that I'm installing. Um, that's the IP. You can take it down there if you want on this video. Uh, let's see which one are we going to do. We are going to do... Okay, now you'll see we're logging in. We've got connection down here. So this is actually a live account. I'm about to shut it down. That's why I'm not afraid to show you. And in the expert advisors field here on the navigator pane, so we've got simple trader there. So what you need to do is you need to just drag this onto the chart. Make sure these checkboxes are correct because otherwise it won't work. So allow live trading, allow DLL inputs, and not function calls. So all the ones on the left, none of these sub boxes. Inputs, you don't need to do anything there. Everything is adjusted from our web based control panel on the Simple Trader site. So you'll connect it up. You see it's got a smiley face here. Everyone thinks a smiley face is a sign that everything's working. It actually doesn't mean very much at all. What means something is the fact that you've got this text on the chart. So you need to make sure that your chart is a black backgrounded chart. Because if it's white, you won't be able to see this because it's white writing. So there's no trades open on this um, signal at the moment, but you can see PIP Investor subscription active. Um, as trades are placed, you'll see the information, the symbol, the comment, and make sure everything's okay in these columns here. Okay, now you're ready to go. So all you need to do is, really you don't need to do anything. If you want to adjust your EA, then you need to go into the Simple Trader site. Otherwise you connect it and um, get in a heartbeat and ready to accept signals. Uh, my name is Nick McDonald. If you have any other questions, please feel free to, to post a ticket on our support center or join the live chat. Um, until next time, I'll see you then.